All right. So I'm going to make this a short one. Oh, man. Title is going to be pretty interesting. But we just left Huey Magoo's. Got a local one in our area, and I said I wanted to try it out. I've been doing these food reviews for y'all. And the last one I did got a lot of actual uh, numbers on the shorts clips. And uh, we're probably going to cut this into a short after we upload the long form video. But yeah, Huey Magoo's. Let's get right into it. So here in my hand, I got the plate. Uh, I had the five piece chicken tender, no coleslaw, extra fries, cause that's just me. And I did the sweet heat, which is my recommendation to any new Huey Magoo newcomer, because they got the marketing down, they got the flavor down. Um, I'm gonna give them a big acclaim, cause I used to work at a Zaxby's. They got Zaxby's beat all day long. They got flavor down to the point where you know, you're going to be able to go and enjoy, you know, the chicken. Fries need a little bit of work. Still eating these fries because they get the job done. Fries definitely, you can look again. They home alone. You know what I'm saying? But they almost gone because the sweet heat makes you want to eat fries because it got more heat than sweet. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. The sweet is there because of the honey flavor. But uh, let's get into the real nitty gritty about what you're not going to like about this restaurant. Attitude. They already had a bunch of fights. People coming in. Employees say they're going to quit. Fights with employees. Fights with managers. Restaurant ain't even six months to a year old yet. Probably just hitting a year old if it's a year old. And that's kind of why I waited to go and check the food out. Because I don't really have time for the foolishness, you know. I like to grub and go. I like to get what I got to get going and get it done and go. And that's what we did today. We went, drove through the drive through kind of anonymous popped in and got some of this chicken it's very good chicken I gotta give him that man the bird is brrr. but uh that attitude ain't worth coming back especially when you selling chicken tenders and fries and a drink for $16 I'm not worried about the prices, y'all. I'm more so concerned about the value of customer service I get for the price. That's what makes the whole experience worthwhile coming back. So, EG1, Ezra's Garage, love y'all. I don't know, what was that in the chicken? Like a feather. I also found a piece of plastic inside of my bread. That was not cool, but nevertheless, my hopes is they get it right, you know? So we here, we back at Culver's, about to do the Culver's review right after this, back to back reviews coming at y'all. Um, I got the cheese curds this time y'all been begging about. Hopefully it's fire. Hopefully all of this is good. Love y'all. We be back. Stay tuned. EG1. More content coming.